So I just finished uploading the Thorium video. Um, it was a beast. <laughs> Some videos literally write themselves and they're super easy and I can sit down in a couple of hours have it all done. And then others just take so much research and I gotta wrap my head around it and then I gotta figure out the right way to explain it and then all kinds of stuff like that. And that's what this one was. It's not, it's not a simple topic to begin with and then to try to explain it um, in a way that's interesting and there's so many different rabbit holes you can go down anyway. Another problem that that's why it wound up uh, posting so late actually that's the problem. I, I This is the first time in a long time I haven't had the video up first thing in the morning and it wasn't done till like five in the afternoon. But um, part of that is because last week was the Falcon Heavy launch and I did two videos on that, a live stream and a regular video. The, the, the other video, the follow-up video was not that was not planned, but the, the live stream did so well and there was so much interest in it and people kept asking me questions in the comments. I was like, okay, I'm going to do a video to, to follow that up. So that was something I wasn't expecting and it became a whole thing. And then I was supposed to have a different video that was going to go up this week and it's actually a collaboration with somebody else that I can't say just yet who it is, but I'm excited about it. It's going to be great. But originally I thought it was going to be uh, today, well actually tomorrow. <laughs> This person I'm collaborating with posts on Tuesdays. He has a bigger channel than I do, so I'm kind of uh, going by his schedule. So next week's video is actually going to be coming out on a Tuesday instead of a Monday. But it was supposed to be this week, and it wound up getting pushed. <laughs> so anyway, my, my schedule, my everything that I had planned had gotten totally knocked out of whack. I didn't even get this thing started writing on it until Friday night, and then uh, wound up shooting it yesterday on Sunday in the afternoon. I was up super late editing and then today there were all these animations and stuff that are supposed to be in there and I'm very slow with animations so anyway. This one was difficult and I also know it's a very uh, not controversial subject but polarizing subject and you know there, there's a lot of people who are like super it's almost a culty kind of thing with the thorium uh, and they get out there and they make all kinds of bombastic claims. Uh, many of them, I think, are overblown, the claims that they make. So I didn't want to go too far that way, but I do think it's promising technology and I think it's worth exploring and it's definitely worth, uh, you know, at least trying on some level. And uh, so I wanted to show that side of it too. So I did a whole pros and cons thing. But of course, what, what winds up always happening Every time I do a video, there's some little tangential, pointless thing that I say. Sometimes I get it wrong. Sometimes I just say it in a way that most people don't think is true or something. And so that's what everybody focuses on. <laughs> so it's always like whenever I post a video out there, it's like I just start watching the comments. It's like, what is everybody going to jump on? What is the tiny little inconsequential thing that everybody's going to lose their shit over? And in this one, it was actually the sponsorship that I did, and that's actually a bummer because these guys are, these guys are helping to support the channel. Um, but it was Brilliant.org as a sponsor. But something that I learned on Brilliant was how refrigerators work. Basically, or the basic idea behind compressors and refrigerators and, and why it works. Um, I know that there is refrigerant in refrigerators. <laughs> I'm not a handyman. I don't. I, I, if you asked me to put a refrigerator together, I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm not a refrigerator expert, but I do know that they use Freon and I do know that it's not all just in the compressor, but that is part of it. And that was definitely how the first refrigerators worked before Freon came around. So uh, that's what I was talking about was all those coils in the back of the fridge. Those are made to, you know, to vent out the heat, to radiate out the heat. And then when you depressurize the air, it's, it's colder. And that's just thermodynamics. And that's really interesting. And that's something I never knew before. And that understanding helped me with the, the nuclear uh, coolant system. That's the whole point I was trying to make. And of course, everybody has jumped on. Uh, refrigerators use Freon. That's not how it works. Boy, I'm never going to use Brilliant. They taught you wrong. And I'm just like, oh my God, I hate people. Sometimes I do. I'm sorry. I just hate people. Just, they take some tiny little thing and just nitpick it to death. And it has nothing to do with anything. It just drives me crazy. Anyway. It is kind of weird. The channel's in a weird place right now. Um, I'm probably going to be hitting 100,000 uh, probably the next three days. So today's Monday. I'm thinking it's either Wednesday or Thursday this week, depending on how well this video does. Right now, let me just check it. Right now it's showing 
98868. Um, I should get to 900 tonight. I'll, I'll probably, I'll hit 99 tomorrow. I'm looking at maybe Thursday or so when this happens. And that's actually, see, now I'm actually a little bit worried because I want to do a big, um, a big live stream as it, as the odometer flips, so to speak. But I'm actually speaking at a thing, uh, a meeting on Thursday about YouTube. So a part of me kind of really wants it to flip while I'm doing my talk, because that would be really awesome. But I, I really want to also be able to live stream it. So I'm, I'm watching that carefully. We'll see what happens. But I guess at about the 100,000 mark is when you start to get enough people to where um, it, you, you don't have the one-on-one -on -one relationship with the audience that you used to have. And you are sufficiently exposed to the general public that you're going to get a lot of I guess trolls or uh, or whatnot, um, but just people who don't really aren't really into what you're doing. They're just there for the topics or whatever, but they also want to take people down a peg or two. Um, it's just an interesting place to be in. It's it's kind of it's kind of like snowballing, and it's it's sort of like riding a runaway train at this point. I'm not really in control of it anymore. <laughs> I, I'm kind of at that point now where it's like, okay, I have like a mass audience and I'm just going to make a video and whatever happens, happens. You know, it used to be very related to how people responded to it and what follow-up questions they had and that kind of thing. And it's kind of getting away from that. It's just getting into a, a place where, you know, the, the, the viewers are not individual people anymore. It's like a whole mass now. It's a very weird thing to go through. I found every stage of my growth evolution, whatever you want to call it, of this channel has had its own challenges. And this is the new one that I'm dealing with is, is this whole like exposure to the mass public thing and, and getting, getting the entire spectrum of that thrown at me at all times. It's, it's an interesting thing to deal with. Uh, somebody that I follow is Tim Schmoyer. He's, um, he runs the video creators, um, uh, YouTube channel. And he works with a lot of big creators and he did a video one time about, you know, some of the downsides of being a YouTube creator. And one of them was a lot of people feel really lonely because you, it's a very weird thing because I'm sitting here in a, in an empty room. There's nobody else here. I'm talking to a camera. It's not really a conversation. It's just me talking <laughs> to random people that might see this or might not see this. And, uh, and at the same time, it's, it's a very solitary thing, but it's also, you have a lot of people um, who seem to know a lot about you. So you have a lot, you might have a whole lot of relationships, but they're paper thin. It's not, you don't have like the deep friend relationships, um, unless you step outside of here, which is something I've been trying to do lately. And that's actually another reason why the video was pushed a little bit. Yesterday I recorded the video and then some friends invited me out. So I went out with them and I hadn't seen them in a while. And, um, and also a member of this group of friends, not somebody I'm particularly close to, but a member of this group actually uh, committed suicide recently. Um, not to go down that rabbit hole, but um, I don't know. It just kind of hit a lot of us that like we really need to be um, getting together more. You know, we need, we need to be more social. We need to be out there for each other some more because uh, when you find out that somebody, that one of your own was feeling that lonely and... Um, separated that they ended their life for you know various other reasons as well but anyway it just really makes you think that you need to stay better connected with people so i've been trying to do that too anyway um i am trying to make this more regular i uh kind of have a little day plan that i'm going by now and one of them is to get up and do this uh tmi kind of thing first thing in the morning so i might i might call this bedhead tv <laughs> or something <laughs> that might be a better word for it uh, I'm doing it later in the evening today, but I'm going to try to start getting up in the morning and doing something and we'll see where this goes. Um, I think I'm about to start making it public and putting it out there for people. So if you're watching this, then, uh, welcome and let me know what you think. And I don't know. We'll see how things go. I'll, I'll end this here though. That's been too much information. Catch you later.